Good morning children. Welcome back to online class. I hope everybody are safe at home. Today we are going to learn an interesting topic. Uh, most of the time uh, you have worried how to write a paragraph. Okay. Uh, today I am going to teach you um, a few st easy steps to be followed when you write a paragraph. Okay, children, listen to me carefully. Then you will, after you watch this video, I promise you, you will write a paragraph on your own. Are you happy? Let's move on to the lesson. Before we move on to the lesson, tell me children, what is a paragraph? What does it mean by paragraph? Yes, a paragraph means a group of sentences. Related to a single topic or idea. When I write a paragraph, in my mind, I should have only one topic or one idea. Okay, if I have too many ideas, I cannot write a paragraph. It will be very difficult to, to concentrate on the particular uh, concept. Okay, so I should have a single topic in my mind. Okay, so when I write a paragraph... Each paragraph is a group of sentences. When I write a paragraph, I should have a single topic or an idea in my mind. Okay. Then, it should be a creative. Okay. Suppose, if uh, for example, if I want to write a paragraph about a visit to a park. Okay. So, I have to imagine what all I, fi I found in the park. What are the things I see in the park? So, all those things must come in my mind. So, it should be a creative. Okay. The, uh, it, we have to bring a creativity in paragraph writing. Okay. The last one is, we should ask questions in our mind. What are the questions? Like who, where, where what, when. So, all these questions must come in my mind before I write a paragraph. Okay. First thing, we should sell, uh, We should have only one topic or an idea when I write a paragraph. And my paragraph should be creative. Next, I should have all these questions like who, where, what, when in my mind when I write a paragraph. Right children? Okay. So, again I repeat, what is a paragraph? Paragraph is a series of organized sentences. Why I am saying it's organized sentences? Because uh, the sentences which we uh, take to write a paragraph, it should be organized. It should be, it should come step by step. Okay, right. Next, how many parts are there in a paragraph? There are three parts. A paragraph is divided into three parts. The first one is introduction, body and conclusion okay again i repeat introduction body and conclusion these are the three parts in a paragraph okay yes let's see what is the uh, para sentences how the sentences are divided okay i we i already told you a paragraph is a series of organized sentences how the sentences should look? The sentences can be divided into topic sentence. The first one is topic sentence. What is mean by topic sentence? Topic sentence is the main introduction. When I write a paragraph, the first sentence should say the entire paragraph. It should tell you about the entire paragraph. That's why we call it as Topic sentence. So, topic sentence is the main introduction of the paragraph. Okay. The next one is supporting sentences. What does mean by supporting? Something which supports something. Okay. So, here the, the supporting sentences will support the main introduction. That is topic sentence. Okay. Adding details. The third one is adding details. Here, I have to add few more details for the supporting sentences. Okay. Then comes the conclusion. Last. 
okay conclusion will conclude a paragraph in two or three sentences that is the how to end the paragraph okay so again i repeat paragraph is divided into three parts introduction body and conclusion here the sentences can be divided into topic sentence supporting sentences adding details and conclusion topic sentence is main introduction supporting sentence is support the main sentence adding details is it add details to the supporting sentence conclusion is it conclude the paragraph in two or three sentences okay children so keep these points in your mind before you write a paragraph okay the first thing is you should have an idea or a topic to write a paragraph second one you have to divide the paragraph into three parts the next one is the sentences can be divided into four subdivision that is topic sentence supporting sentences adding details and conclusion okay children right okay now uh, when we write a paragraph we have to follow tense what is mean by tense there are three tenses okay tense uh will tell you the action the action happens whether it is in the past or present or future okay now uh, i'll i'm just asking you a question when you write a story we all we all have, have heard stories we have written stories okay so when you write a story what tense will you follow yes we will follow past tense because the story is already happened okay but when we write a paragraph writing we have to follow two tenses that is simple present and present continuous tense because we are writing the events happened now which is happening now that's why we have to follow simple present and present continuous tense while writing paragraph okay yes okay now i am going to show you a a model paragraph writing okay so before i show you a model paragraph writing i have a topic in my mind my topic is my favorite game okay so my favorite game is my topic so i am going to i have prepared a paragraph okay now this paragraph is divided into three parts what are the three parts yes first one is introduction second one is body the third one is conclusion okay now let's see how my introduction is for the topic my favorite game okay before i move on to the introduction okay i am just going to read my introductory paragraph okay my favorite game is cricket cricket defines passion it shows how countless dreams turn into reality so this is my introduction i have given an introduction part about the topic my favorite game okay now here can you see the first line my favorite game is cricket okay now let's see what is that my favorite game is cricket is the first sentence of the paragraph okay i told you already it is called topic sentence topic sentence is the main introduction of the paragraph main sentence the first sentence of the paragraph is called topic sentence okay again i repeat topic sentence is the first sentence of a paragraph okay why i call as call it as topic sentence because topic sentence which tells you about the entire paragraph now when you read this line my favorite game is cricket by this line you understand that we are going to write a paragraph about cricket okay that's why we call it as topic sentence okay what is the second one children after introduction yes body of the paragraph okay now look at my body of the paragraph here i have given each sentences in different colors okay now what is this entire body of the paragraph contains it contains supporting details and adding more details to the supporting sentence okay 
Now, my topic is my favorite game. Okay, my topic sentence is my favorite game is cricket. So, I am going to add few more details about cricket. Okay, okay so now let's see what is the uh, supporting uh, sentences and uh, I have also added more details about the supporting sentence. Okay, let's read the body of the paragraph. Okay, it is one of the most popular games not only in India but across the world. It is the national game of England but is played all over the world. It is played between two teams consisting of 11 players each. The ultimate aim of a team is to score higher than the other. I have been playing this game since I was 4 years old. Watching others play is as exciting as playing it. Okay, till this, the ultimate aim of a team. Till this is a supporting detail. Okay, here the supporting details, it supports the main introduction that is the topic sentence here. Okay, now let's see. I have been playing this game since I was 4 years old. These sentences are more details, adding more details to the supporting sentence. Okay, so this is called body of the paragraph. In the body of the paragraph, we add supporting sentences or supporting details. Okay, let's see what we should write in the conclusion part. Okay, here the conclusion will talk about how passionate you are towards this game or your ambition. Okay, so now here I, I didn't write any paragraph here because conclusion is here you have to conclude the paragraph in two or three sentences. Because since my topic is my favorite game, so I will write how passionate I am towards that game or my ambition. Okay, so this is how you have to end the paragraph. Okay, so this is the conclusion part. Okay, yes. So again I repeat children, the pa paragraph is divided into three parts. Introduction, body and conclusion. In the introduction part, we, have, we should have a topic sentence. That is the first sentence of a paragraph. Body of the paragraph should contain supporting details and more details. In the conclusion part, we should have the concluding sentence. Okay. Here, the concluding sentence we should add in the conclusion part. Okay. Yes. So, the concluding sentence is the uh, last part of the paragraph. Okay. So, can you see the entire paragraph I have taken here? So, my favorite game is my topic. Okay. Here, I brought the introduction body of the paragraph here. Okay. Conclusion part, I will, I will write on my own. Okay. So, this is the way you have to write a paragraph. Right, children? Okay. Now, remember, when you, imagination is a key to become a successful writer. I told you in the beginning itself, when you want to write a paragraph, you should have a creativity. Okay. The creativity will bring you, will make you a good writer. Okay. I hope you all have understood how to write a paragraph children. After you watch this video, I think everybody will write a paragraph on your own. Okay, so what you do, select a topic on your own and write a paragraph in your English classwork. Follow all these steps, how to write step, step by step. You just watch this video and start writing a paragraph. Thank you children. After watching this video, children, please take up the quizzes and worksheet and also watch the supplementary video. Thank you children.